Tonight, you are looking at the discharge building up tonight in the Black Warrior River as a judge said today that it's coming from the nearby Maxine mine site. That judge ruling that the Drummond Coal Company is violating the Clean Water Act for discharge coming from that abandoned underground coal mine along the popular Black Warrior River. CBS 42 News reporter Hillary Simon live at the Black Warrior Riverkeeper headquarters tonight. And Hillary, they say this is affecting everything from homes to drinking water. Well, yeah, Jack. Now, the staff attorney here says this has been a long time coming, but a fight well worth it. A federal judge ruled in their favor that an old mining operation violated what's called the Clean Water Act. Well, I stopped by an area where the Locust Fork is. That's one of the areas that is hurt by this. And the people there tell me they're happy something's being done. At Buddy Vines Camp off the Locust Fork, this is people's getaway spot. It's just a beautiful section of the river. It has great fishing. Uh, the, the hunting is great, uh, the water sports, I mean, people enjoy the river for a variety of reasons. But the contamination left by an old mine company has Vines worried where the future lies for his beloved camp. Uh, who wants to come to a, to a water resource that has pollution in it? I mean, you, you don't want to do that. And you might not want to eat the fish that came out of the river. You certainly wouldn't want your children swimming in it. That's what the Black River Warrior Keeper has been fighting for. A federal judge ruled that Drummond Company is continuously discharging acid mine drainage into the river's Locust Fork. These pictures were taken by the river keeper showing the damage. You, you can't even get a boat in there. You can literally walk across it. And so it's one of the ugliest sites that our river keeper, Nelson Brook, has seen in his many years of doing this job. Coal mine waste is seen piled up. Buddy Vine says he's grown up here and seen the change. The growth of algae that we've seen in the river uh, since this occurred. We've got algae here that we've never had before. And I'm told that it feeds on iron. And of course, iron is what uh, the mine discharges. There's still more to come in this case, but the river keepers say this is a big win. It's an area that belongs to all of us, and it should be cleaned up, and it should be preserved, and it should be protected for everybody. Now, we reached out to Drummond Company for a reaction to the judge's ruling and have yet to hear back. Now, the Black River Warrior Keeper says they are still have additional claims that they will pursue in this trial. Live in Jefferson County, Hillary Simon, CBS 42 News. Local coverage you can count on. Hillary, thank you.